Okay, with this uh, tutorial, we are going to look at importing a graphic into GraviStyle uh, and then uh, engraving it. Um, now, GraviStyle, in the in many of the uh, the versions that are out there, does not have the ability to convert um, what's called raster art into vector art. Uh, that's pixelated art into something that's uh, got lines and nodes. Um, so we're going to use a third-party application called Vector Magic. Um, so I'm going to go into Vector Magic. This is a website. It costs about eight dollars a month to um, uh, to use, and I'm going to upload an image to Trace. And um, this is going to upload here. It'll take just a moment. And uh, this is a preview of what the image looks like. Uh, this is going to be the image trace results here. Uh, once we get the image vectorized, then we are going to import it back into GraviStyle for engraving. And you'll see if I zoom in on this, um, you can look at the edges and see how it uh, becomes pixelated. We are going to render that vector art, which does not pixelate when you zoom in on it or you um, increase the size. All right, so here's my result. Looks pretty close to the original. I'm going to download that. Uh, I'm going to choose an EPS file. And in this case, I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Uh, hop back into GraviStyle, and then um, I can do either Control I or go to File, Import, find that logo, hit OK, and it's going to bring it into the program here. Now, it's going to put a box around the whole thing, what we need to do is actually ungroup this image. Okay, and then we're going to uh, click off to the side so nothing is selected, and then just click the edge. So we select that outside edge, and then hit the, the delete button. Uh, you're left with something that looks kind of goofy, but if you uh, draw a box around the whole thing, selecting it all, and combining it again, or grouping it, uh, it should look pretty good. So that's uh, vector art. It's ready to go to be engraved. If you zoom in on it, you can see that no matter how close you get, it stays uh, crisp and clear. And you're good to go. You can resize this, rotate it, you know, whatever you want to do um, to put it on the item that you want to engrave on. All right, that's that.